from Matthew 26, verse 26 to verse 30. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it near with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung in him, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Amen. Please be seated. He blessed and broke and gave it to his disciples. And he gave thanks from his heart. He blessed, he gave thanks. And from this word, forgive thanks, uh, verse 27, this word where he says, gave thanks, we get our word Eucharist. You know, some uh, traditions use that, and it has been a, a long-standing early church term, the Eucharist, our Thanksgiving feast. That's what it's about today. We're giving thanks, aren't we? We're giving thanks for Calvary. We're giving thanks for the blood. Just as the Passover time, the Old Testament, God guided God's people, the Jewish nation, in times past, and He delivered them from Egypt. And what did they do? They gave thanks at the Passover. He led His disciples in gratitude. He gave praise from His heart. It's kind of ironic in a way, isn't it, that He was facing His death, and He was the one giving thanks. It was His death that they were celebrating. It was His death that they were giving thanks for. And death has been something on my mind lately. Death has been something on my mind because my dad's gone over to the UK uh, and uh, saw his sister uh, in her last days. And uh, she's gone now. She's gone to the Lord. And my dad's had the joy of knowing she's a believer, a strong Christian, uh, a a joyful Christian, and uh, was able to spend some quality time with her before she passed away and that was a blessing for him Um, and now it's a blessing too that he can uh, (laughs) attend a funeral and and minister to the family there and I'm sure he'll be a real testimony and a witness to all our extended family over there in the UK so I'm I'm grateful for that and I can give thanks for that I'm I'm thankful that my dad saw his sister before she passed away and was able to have uh, a number of days with her talking with her, visiting her (laughs) regularly, so uh, I'm sure he'll tell us more about that when he comes back. And another death I was thinking of lately too, was I was in a room recently, just yesterday in fact, uh, a room that has a special significance for Julie, my wife, because um, it was in that room that her father invited all of the extended family, uh, Julie's brothers and their wives and Julie's sister and, and uh, all the, the close family uh, and he was dying of cancer and he was lying in this bed in this room and it just made me remember made me remember the, his life and remember his death and, and I could give thanks to him too that he was a, a strong Christian man and he was a testimony to Julie and, and the family and, and uh, his words to the family to his uh, Boys and girls, his, his sons and daughters, and, and to us uh, in-laws, uh, about a testimony of his life and, and a challenge to them to, to follow strongly after the Lord. And, uh, and that was a blessing to, not, not very long after that, he was then in hospital and he passed away. And, and I could give thanks for his life today too, and give thanks for, for his death, that even in his death he was a witness for Christ. And here we're giving thanks brothers and sisters. We're giving thanks for the joy of fellowship. We're giving thanks for what the cross means to us, for the company of God's people, for the shared cup, for the broken bread, for Gethsemane, for the symbols of his suffering, the, the preview of the brutal blows that were to fall upon him. Uh, they were going to shatter those hands and, and uh, hurt those feet of the ripping in his side, a sign of blood soon to be dripping from that wooden cross, from that agony of the crown and of the beating and the stripes 
For them, He was giving Himself. And He was giving thanks in prelude to it, in foretelling of that. And in trust, He gave thanks for the strength that He would have. The strength that He would have in Gethsemane for you when He bore your sin, when He carried your sin, as He anticipated taking it to the cross there. He gave thanks for the strength in His suffering. And in faith, He knew the strength to bear what lay ahead. And we can know the thankful life too. Brothers and sisters, we're giving thanks. It's the Eucharist. It's the Thanksgiving feast, as the early church called it. We can give thanks today that we know the Saviour, the gladness of sins forgiven, of joy in God, of a home in heaven purchased for you, made freely available to you. Joy and thanks in God who is love. We can be glad in the love that seeks and finds us. We can be glad and grateful for His goodness, in gratitude for His goodness, His grace, of His mercy. And this is a feast of thankfulness today. Let's be thankful as we partake. Give thanks with that grateful heart as we know that grave has been vanquished, souls have been redeemed because of this day that we reflect on as we partake. And we can thank heaven this morning and have a truly thankful heart, I trust.